Hello everybody, Dantem here and today in the second video on my channel uh, I will be introducing you to my actual TCG that will be print, uh, that will be showcasing in multiple videos on the channel it is the, the principal focus of it so um, first off I want to say that I do not, I did not um, start find, like start this game without a back uh, like a back idea because I have been in the craze of uh, TCGs for four years, well, around four years now, and um, it uh, it was when I picked up uh, Chaotic and Pokemon and stuff like that that I really got into it, and I want, wanted to make my own TCG. So I have multiple versions of uh, TCG that I have. Um, the first one I don't have any sample here because I never made a card, an actual card. I only have uh, like a bunch of concepts, but in a, in a big notebook that I, can, I cannot show you because of this current setup. So um, it was called Elementios, and it was on the concept of different element, uh, element, uh, different characters with different elements, like battling in a tournament to see who wins. But and there was there was like a um, leveling up system. That you had different criteria that you could level up and get better attacks, better stats overall. But I, I dumped that because it just it was just too complicated after a while. So then I came up with the other game. It was more recent. It was called Paper Wars. So the first uh, first sample card I made, the, the only one, was this. So those were made on paint. Um, as you can see, those are very bad. <laughs> um, like this, these are the red swords. So in this, I really want to make like a big set of all the colors of sword you can have, and each have a different uh, ability. So um, those one were very old and very bad, as you can see the quality. Ew. And it was in French. So yeah, I dropped it very fast. And those are from three years ago. So yeah, it's really old. Um, then we have the most, a more recent version of Paper Wars. Uh, this was this card, so I made a comeback of the red sword for this. Um, this is more recent, like the same version as this one and this card here in the background. Um, and yeah, still you had the uses. That after center use, you had to discard this card or put it in a, a Reaper Forge. Um, this will be explained in another video because I don't have the time to explain to you all the details of this. Because it's a game mechanic. Um, so uh, now we're gonna... I'm gonna talk to you about like a concept card I had. So this was for the old Paper Wars. So these were boost cards. So this is like a concept. This is not a, like a final card. Um, those were boost cards, and that when you pick them up, you had to do uh, immediately. You had to do what the card told you to do. So they will be good. But the thing is, depending on when you pick them up, they can be negative, or good, or neutral to you. So it's it's a lot of strategy and thinking. Will this really come in handy when I need it? So I wanted to keep those concepts in my newest version. So I'm talking about my newest version, which is the game I will be showcasing in my channel. It is uh, called Legends of the Seven Worlds. So um, first off, this is the, the first card I made. So you may remember the older version that is back there. That's the one I, I showed in the first video. But this is an improved version I did today. So I did an outline so you can see the character better. I will try to get it. Okay. Get the character better. Um, I made some tweaks here, but because of the camera uh, quality, you can't really see the numbers, but they're pretty visible in, in real life. I changed the color for abilities, and I did multiple tweaks in the background. Um, and then I wanted to show you this new card I made today. So this is Drupal. Um, two summon points. Well, I don't have the, the name written down right now, so it's just uh, I'm improvising right now. Um, so this is the stats and you have the different attacks. So as you can see there's a difference between when you're fire or water. Um, the background, the, the contour, the ability color. So yeah, I really like this art on this one. You can't really see it. But um, on my DeviantArt I uploaded it. So I could give you a link to my DeviantArt in, in the comments. At, oh no, in the description. And you'll be able to see the real digital version of this drawing. So um... Yeah, and I won't be. I will not be printing all of these cards right now for um, like all of them because I need to retest. I do a lot of mistakes when I print them. So if I print every 100 cards, plant cards for now, um, with the, my own printer, I will run out of ink and it costs a lot because it's a laser printer. So I found a new uh, another way to print them in color, but for right now I cannot do it. 
So when I will be playtesting with my friends, we will be using like post-it or little notes. We'll be writing all the info that we need and put the, the tags, the stats and everything. And when we play, if we see that one card is too OP or something doesn't work, we can just change it on the go because it's it's with the like just normal uh, crayons. But um, but yeah, that's how I will be playtesting play those those cards. So if I ever show new cards, they'll probably be in black and white. So yeah, I'm sorry for that, but uh, I cannot uh, print them all for now. Maybe I will find a way, but for now I cannot. So yeah, so those newer cards you have the forge I kept. I want to make the boost cards again that I talked er er about earlier. Um, as you can see, little differences and attacks. I made some tweaks, so there's a the differences. I made some misprints, so like this one I forgot to to do the um, the shadows. Whoops, <laughs> I, I like I didn't shrink, I didn't um, compile every background layer. So yeah, you only have the shadow here, which kind of sucks, but I cannot reprint them all. So yeah, for now I have those two cards, and um, and yeah, this is my TCG for now. So I'll be explaining everything in a later video. I just want to show you the origin of my game. So um, so thanks for watching, and see ya.